Welcome friends, this is Rodney Jean Jr. here in Austin, Texas, and this is another professional user testimonial video and demo of the indispensable PG Music Band in a Box. Big shout out to PG Music for making such a fantastic product. Um, long time user of Band in the Box. Uh, I'm on my fifth version. And this is my second professional user testimonial video. So I'll probably end up saying some of the same things. <laughs> probably repeat myself a little bit anyway. Uh, primarily because I feel exactly the same way uh, as I did several years ago. Hands down, the single most indispensable tool in progressing me forward as a professional musician. I feel like had I had this starting out, um, I would have had a real advantage. And um, whether you're interested in songwriting or song arrangement, um, chord inversions, the relationships between chords and songs, uh, or maybe you're interested in developing your ear to a greater degree, uh, or you need backing tracks for a record or for recording or for rehearsing or maybe you need professional backing tracks for live accompaniment or maybe you just need some inspiration right now if your own creative spark is dim at the moment I know that happens to me Band in a Box will help you execute those goals quickly and consistently and honestly, you just can't ask more than that from your tools. Now, I'd like to point out that I probably use maybe 10% of the software. Maybe. It's such a feature-rich and feature-packed tool that it allows every individual musician to work on their own terms and at their own pace uh, and in their own particular work style. My particular process, as it were, is very stable. So my workflow is very consistent. And I think that's the most that you can ask of any tool that you have is that it supports your process. Um, but in some cases, the tool can be so expansive and influential that it helps you develop a process and Band in the Box has been that type of tool for me as a professional musician. I know what to expect from it, I know how I use it, uh, so I'm able to look ahead. I'm able to think about future goals and how I can execute them. Um, or a gig comes along and I'm able to see how quickly I'll be able to manage it, what kind of support I'll have or I'll need, because personally I need a lot of support. <laughs> Um, or I can think about how I can create work for myself as a musician, and that is just an awesome thing. Okay, so I said this was a demo also. Uh, I have two cool ideas I want to show you. I'm going to open up Band in a Box, and for educational purposes, I'm going to choose a song from the 70s, beautiful chord progression from New Orleans, and I want to show you how quickly and easily and effectively you can take a simple chord progression, input it into the chord window in Band in a Box, and experiment with some styles. Um, 
for this particular demonstration, I'm going to do one on acoustic, which I don't think I've ever done. Uh, and that's really fun because I love playing acoustic. Uh, and one on electric. And just to show the variations. By no stretch is this a tutorial, uh, so I wouldn't bother <laughs> trying to get much out of that. I will post links down below to give you all the resources you need uh, to learn about the features. This is a tiny glimpse into my workflow, but mostly just to show you how easy it is to get great results. So let's turn on Band in a Box and check out some of these ideas. All right, so we have opened up Band in a Box, and we are greeted by this big bright window. This is the chord sheet window, and this is where we input a chord progression. This gives us, this gives us the opportunity here to uh, experiment with arrangement ideas, with chordal voicings. We have our tempo, our key signature, time signature. Now I have already pre-populated this with our target song, the example song. Brilliant 70s pop song that we are going to interpret for educational purposes in a couple of different styles to show you how quickly you can create something that supports your own unique ideas or your own unique goals. So now that I have input the chord progression here, we can start having some fun uh, with the styles. So I come up here and I open the style window and now my style library appears and there are 4,668 <laughs> styles listed. Now this style library has been collected over many years by PG Music. They consistently update it and add to it and you can create your own. Um, now 4,600 plus seems daunting. Um, no fear. Honestly, being that this is music, there is a tremendous amount of common ground amongst the styles. Tremendous amount of collective uh, cross-pollination of styles, uh, crossover of styles. And honestly, in short time, um, you tune in to the styles that support your workflow and your own uh, particular musical taste. And it becomes very fun and very intuitive to choose. So I wanted to try something unique, at least for me. Um, I chose an Afro-Cuban bolero groove um, quartet here to play the Dance With Me chord progression and to see how I was inspired if there was something I could come up with. Um, now before I continue here and show you my example of this, I want to mention that Band in a Box is a standalone software. So you don't need a digital audio workstation in order to create tracks with this. Um, you can record directly into the software um, and you can mix directly in the software. You can render down a WAV file or an MP3 directly from the software to your hard drive. Um, now I use this to rehearse with. So I'll pull up the screen, I'll make some arrangements, and I'll practice and I can change tempos and keys and experiment. But once I'm ready to do any serious recording uh, for my particular workflow, then you can take the tracks and you can import them into your digital audio workstation and make adjustments, cuts, you know, edits, and uh, add your own effects, etc. And that's the way I work. So, that being said, we have our Afro-Cuban Bolero Quartet uh, to interpret the Dance With Me chord progression, and it sounds something like this.
very cool. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that was a tremendous pleasure to play. And this is a testament to the idea of taking a familiar chord progression and reinterpreting it uh, with a different uh, cultural approach or cultural style, uh, different instrumentation style, while maintaining the spirit of the song. And just by going through that process, by default, you expand your musicality. And I think that is one of the most brilliant natural consequences of using band in a box and experimenting with these styles and with the chord progressions that you're already familiar with. You grow as a musician on your terms and at your pace and uh, that's just awesome. So initially I had this rockabilly groove that inspired me to do this particular demo and this particular testimonial for you. Um, so we've got this beautiful chord progression, Dance With Me, and we're going to interpret in kind of a rockabilly groove. Um, so this is something, uh, this is a style I really enjoy. Boom Chick Joe <laughs> is the style I chose. Boom Chick is a descriptive term for some rockabilly grooves, some hillbilly swings, some country grooves. Boom chicka boom chicka boom chicka boom. Often associated with the train beat or upright bass, a two beat. And this particular style had a train beat associated with it, or it does. Uh, and I changed that out to a Nashville two beat style. And the reason I did that is it maintains the same the quality of feel, but um, it leaves more space for the instrumentation to breathe and that's a real benefit when you are trying to emphasize a harmony instrument like guitar which I'm going to do here. Um, upright bass has a lot of energy, has a lot of notes, can be very busy. Combined with a train beat um, can really add energy but it can also be a little too busy and so when you want the track to breathe a little more, you want a little more space, I choose a two beat. So. Uh, that's a free tip. So we have this cool groove up here and uh, for educational purposes our interpretation sounds like this. So a couple of last important words for you. PG Music is a leading edge company. It's a forward thinking company. Band in a Box is a leading edge software. Um, this is a company founded by a musician, employs musicians, thinks about musicians and our needs, and year after year consistently updates the software to support musicians year after year hires world-class musicians to contribute to the real tracks library. Uh, this is a library you have access to. These are tracks that you can use for your own goals, your own projects that you can learn from, find inspiration from, that you can lift ideas from. PG Music is a long game company and for someone like me I'm incredibly grateful because I'm a long game musician. PG Music has been around for a lot of years. Not quite that long. <laughs> However, when PG Music debuted Band in a Box, these guys debuted also. But it's useful to note that you can't outgrow the software. You can't become too professional or too good. And you can't find yourself so early on in your musical stage 
that you won't find tremendous value from it. Like I've said before, I feel like if I had it early on, I would have had a great advantage over other musicians or even over my own learning curve. Um, do yourself a favor. Go to PG Music, engage the other users. There's users of every level from hobbyists to beginners, some who don't play an instrument at all, but they use Band in a Box as a creative outlet to develop themselves or just to have fun. There are professional users and world-class users who use the software, and there's um, just a lot of working stiffs like myself. Appreciate you very much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. You are awesome. This is Rodney Jean Jr. from Austin, Texas. Cheers. Um.